M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we're going to have a go at programming the 7900, Yesu 7900, with this free software from G4HFQ and a programming cable, which is a six pin cable at one end and USB at the other and easily plugs into the back of the radio. So we've, we've downloaded the XE just by clicking on this section here, XE, and it ran straight away, no problem. And then we've opened up this file. Now, the first thing I think we needed to do was select the com port so if you go right click device manager what we actually did was double click ports this is the one we need silicon labs 210 and it's com 13 but we had to detect it and apply it so the way we did that was we went settings com port detector and then we follow these instructions turn off the radio plug in the cable uh, power the radio on and off several times so if we the radio's on let's click detect ports and it did find it, look, 13. And if I turn off the radio a couple of times, it appears in this section here. So let's turn it off. And look, and then it appears. Isn't that funny how it appears when you turn it on and off? And then you can click here, set to COM 13 and exit. So that's your COM done. The next thing we do is we want to read the radio. So we're going to click read, like so. It says power off the radio and hold down the megahertz pry button so that's i just scroll this up here see it here m h z p r i here so we're going to do that power off hold down that done that and now we're going to turn it to f7 So it now says clone. Then it says press and hold the band set button, which we've done, and the radio goes on and off. I'm not hearing any beeps like it says, or click cancel. So we we'll click OK. And then now it says here press the VM button. Now this is quite glitchy, it works every now and again, but good luck with it. I thought I'd show you the process. So you hold down the VM button and it should start to read the radio. The radio says TX and it starts to cross over. Now what I'm finding is it gets halfway and it glitches, but it could just be a bad connection on the USB. Uh, it could be not a great cable, but I still think this process is worth seeing and it's going further than it did last time. And then once you're in, then it, this, it looks very similar to programming, say, uh, Chirp or ADMS, that kind of thing. So it, if it comes up with an error, just try it again. We haven't changed any memories. You can look along the top here, it's got operation mode, repeater shift, transmit, CTCSS, receive frequency. I'm not sure if it gives memory names. Well, that worked good. Now, now power off, now power off, then power on the 7900. It is recommended that you save a copy to disk using write disk function. Okay. So we'll go file, save. We've got a folder which we create. I always create new folders when I get a new radio. Called 7900, which is here. Better give it a name. 7900, save. So we've already saved a copy. And you can see we've added some, that's our existing memories. Let's put one in. I'm trying to see if it shows any names. Can we tag things? Memory bank all. Yes, we can. So do we change? That just shows you the memory bank. We can import and export. So that window's come up there. Custom. Don't forget, I've never used this. Interesting. Shut that for now. Uh, go back to. So you click it once, you get memory bank. Memories, memory bank. Let's go through these with it. PMS, which is unprogrammed. Home, hyper memories. I don't even know what hyper memories are, but there's hyper memories. Bank, scan, link, configuration. All oh, right, we can actually go into the settings menu. Well, that's got to be good, hasn't it? So I like that that we can do that. So I think it's quite good actually. Now about changing something. 
let's go back to memories. Let's double click something that says MT and let's just start to type. So we're going to go 430.825, which is GB3, is it ZB? We can choose FM, FM narrow, AM. Uh, there is a shift, plus shift, my memories, and it's 7.6. Uh, encode, yeah, we do want encode. So we'll just do encode for now. And it's 77. 77 hertz. Show name or frequency, we'll choose name. Power. Like so, let's keep it low. Then you've got scan hyper, hyper two, hyper two. I don't really know anything about hyper memories. We can change the tuning step and we can have a memory description. So in the description, we'll put GB3ZB. It might not be ZB, but we'll put that anyway. Then we'll go to memory bank. See if that's in there. There it is there. Let's name it. It looks like here we can name it. GB3ZB. Okay. And what I'll do, actually, I will change the power back to high because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test it at the end of the video. I'll just plug in a rubber duck because it's quite close to me. So we've got it in there. I'm just going to change the power to high because from my home, I, I probably need high power, but I'll only key for a, a second or so. And then we're going to write to file. Actually, not to file. <laughs> we can file save so that we don't lose that. Then we'll go and click yes. And then we're going to write to radio, write to 7900. Write in memory bank, sorry, writing memories back to the rig is only available in a registered copy. Okay, so I get that. So they're saying <laughs> if you want to write it back, you're going to have to pay, which is fair enough. So I'm still going to try anyway. So write to radio, click OK. So I mean, that's strange how you can't do that. Oh, it's got to be a way around it, though, eh? So anyway, thanks for watching my channel. Looks like we can't write to the radio unless we spend the money. Bye for now. 7-3. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now.